course. I am colour master, colour mistress. And thank you for coming with us on your journey into becoming a professional colour consultant. We're thrilled that you've made the choice to start a career in design, a glamorous but hardworking industry. So what's Understanding Colour all about? It's actually about you, above all else. Who are you and what's your colour style? And that's where I come in, to help you find yourself through a combination of teaching you your own amazing designs, technical skills, design confidence and personal taste. You're going to dream designs yourself out of a dreary day job and into the exciting world of colour consulting. Now colour is the one element of design that my clients have the least confidence with. But I'm here to help you. Colour is a skill, not a gift. But you can use your talents to make it a lifelong asset as well. Imagine your... The notes as you work your way through the course pack, as well as focus sessions you watch, will have all the questions and most of the answers that you'll need to become a cult consultant as well as where you will find the general tools of the trade. And if you still have more questions, then jump online on our Design Army TV Facebook page or blog site. Upload your designs, ask questions, respond to opinions and ask your peers. Or just jump on our master website and send us your questions and projects here to Design Army TV headquarters. of many relaxing hours of videos, plus all your hours of coursework, the topics we will cover in Colour Master, Colour Mistress are Topic number one, who are you and what's your personal style? And we will do this through eight questions about you. And these are questions such as where you live, what do you do, who are your friends and family and what kind of work do you Topic do? Topic number two is colour psychology. What colours affect our emotional intelligence, either negatively or positively? Topic number three is understanding colour bases. What are they and how do we mix them? As well as how do we see our colouring materials? How do we find a true base colour and match different materials in effortless design work? Topic number four looks at pure hues. What are they and why do we need them so Topic important? five is lightness and saturation. I'll give you demonstrations on how to read each of these plus fantastic exercises to complete in your workbooks. Topic 6 is tint, tone, shade. What's Mumsel's colour system? Is it easy to use? Can we make one ourselves? Topic 7 discusses colour in scheme types. What are primary, secondary, tertiary, intermediate, split, double, triadic and more scheme types? How do we use these schemes? And what are the designer's secret schemes that I didn't And then which schemes do we apply in a classical room, a modern room, a postmodern room or an eclectic room? as well as a Hamptons room, a Parisian room, or a Balinese room. In topic number eight, we look at environmentally friendly colour. And what's cradle to grave? Why do we need that? What's sick building syndrome? And how does that relate to colour? Do you have it now? Topic nine is the origins of colour, and how we use history to help us in the future. Did you know that purple was made from snail's mucus and red came from crushed beetle's shell? Topic number 10 is a detailed analysis of interior and exterior paints. These are issues such as VOCs, choosing the right wall colour, colour chalking, matte satin or gloss, and reflected or resultant colours. Topic 11 is all about light colour rendering, wavelengths, reflections and shadows. How does lighting colour drastically affect my skin if I get it wrong? And boy oh boy, I have been this mistake many, many times, so I want you to get it right. Topic 12, 13, 14 are big subjects that take us through the elements and principles of colour, as well as working technicalities into themes and styles. And then last but not least, topic number 15 is scheme mastering in case studies. I'll give you demonstrations and set you some homework in designing new amazing schemes for different spaces and programs.